coming in, yeah Flex, I just wanna win, yeah LABB, who we running with, yeah 2233, I'm on 10 again What's up guys, this is Elo Speaks back again with another video And in this video topic, I wanted to talk about the recent NBA finals or quote unquote finals that happened almost about two years almost two years ago but it's really a year uh, 18 months but I wanted to make this topic about the 2020 Lakers 20 uh championship and I'm gonna at first when the championship happened I didn't agree with it um during the time of the the COVID-19 pandemic a lot of craziness was going down the league was out for four to five months and everything was just hectic and crazy. The season stopped right after the All-Star break. Everything was like going crazy. Nobody knows what's going to happen. And then around the time they started the season back up in the summer and that's when a lot of players didn't want to be in that bubble and they had to go to Orlando they had to play inside of a, like a, a like a dom domicile like type of environment where there was no fans. It was just screens. It was big screens of uh, fans in on their computers, and then it was the basketball court, coaches, staff, and et cetera. And it just and they had to stay in uh, Disneyland and stuff like that. A whole bunch of goofiness, no pun intended. But yeah, it was just craziness happened. But the reason I'm making this video is because, as you know, the Lakers are a dumpster fire of a team. And we already know that since, um, based off their season, there are multiple games under 500. They're on the verge of missing the playoffs altogether. They're on the verge of missing the play-in, too. And on top of that, they're just, like, we don't know where it goes from here. LeBron James is getting older. Anthony Davis can't stay healthy. The whole Westbrook experiment was a disaster. Carmelo's not any old, et cetera, et cetera. But multiple fans, well, I want to say multiple fans, but Laker fans and Brown fans, et cetera, were bandy hooing about after they won that championship. Talking a lot of trash, saying that they're going to repeat, that they're going to show the world that that wasn't a fluke, that wasn't a one-off championship when it clearly was. But obviously... Obviously, it was a fluky, on-the-spot championship. They got lucky to win that championship. I don't care what nobody say. That championship will always have an asterisk based off all the current events that just happened. That was one of the strangest, weirdest playoff championship runs I've ever seen based off the events that happened in 2020. I personally would have had them cancel the whole season altogether. But I think they don't want to do that because they lost a lot of money, and I understand that from a business perspective. But the whole situation on how it happened was, of course, LeBron James was campaigning to push for to continue playing because this was a desperate attempt for him to win a championship and a desperate attempt for his fanboys to win a championship. So I can always understand that from his perspective. But I could tell nobody else really wanted to play a championship. They probably did it for financial reasons because they were they don't know they don't know what was gonna happen in the future. They were trying to get as much money as they can, etc. But as far as I know, a lot of people didn't want to go into the bubble. I know the I know the Clippers didn't want to go into championships, Rockets, etc. All these teams didn't really the Portland Trailblazers, all these teams that were in the bubble didn't really go there and on top of that there are certain teams that were not even playoff contention they didn't even go to the bubble because they weren't they didn't have enough wins to be in the playoffs so all 32 teams wasn't even in the bubble and then they had 10 games to really get like a warm-up before the playoffs to continue uh, for seating position etc and then they go into the playoffs um I really had no problem with that, but still, that that just was weird to me, how they're doing that. And then after that, the playoffs started, and the Los Angeles Lakers altogether had an easy matchup against the Portland Trailblazers. Easy matchup, so they were able to take them out in five. Their second matchup were against the Houston Rockets. With that was at the time when 
James Harden and Russell Westbrook tandem was together. I already knew they was going to lose that series because Westbrook was on the team. Westbrook and James Harden together on one team, that's just a recipe for disaster. That is not a championship winning team, especially when they got rid of their center. So they will got to play small ball or zero ball or zero ball or point uh point center. How they were doing it, that that style of offense was not gonna win a championship point blank period. So I already knew that the Lakers was gonna roll through the Houston Rockets to get to the next round. The second round Probably their toughest round. Um, they were able to beat the the Denver Nuggets with Nikola Jokic, but at the time, I don't think Jamal Jamal Murray had uh, hurt his ankle. Was it a hundred percent healthy? So um, they end up beating the Denver Nuggets at five. But we can always tell that that Denver Nuggets team, while they had an amazing playoff run themselves, they weren't championship ready to compete at that high level and it showed because they haven't been there since now granted I, they are dealing with injuries right now in terms of Jam, uh, Jamal Murray and MPJ being out but still I don't think they're like ready yet they're like a one more keep they're one more star key piece away from like actually becoming title favorites to like win out especially just to get out the west entirely and then finally we get to the finals so, it was already the Miami Heat run to the finals. While it was a great storybook run to the finals, it was a fluky run to the finals as well. They ended up beating the Milwaukee Bucks. They beat the Pacers first, and then they were then they were able to beat the Milwaukee Bucks in the second round. Then they ended up, end up beating the Boston Celtics to get to the finals. Then... <laughs> After that, they end up facing the Los Angeles Lakers in the playoffs. Right there, they were a fifth seed team. And I don't care what nobody says. Nobody thought that the Miami Heat was going to make it to the finals. Not in their wildest imagination. There's probably a couple people who probably saw it coming. But I would say, I, I want to say it enough, the vast majority of people will say that the Los Angeles, Los Angeles Lakers and Miami Heat final, would, that would not happen. We all thought it's probably going to be Los Angeles Lakers versus Milwaukee or at, at bare minimum the Boston Celtics. But um, if, if, if Kyrie and Kevin Durant was hurt, that probably would have been the finals matchup we probably prognosticated to see. But again, Kevin Durant was hurt around that time from prior from 2019 when he uh broke his when he had Achilles injury in the 2019 finals against the Raptors but again so the Miami Heat ended up going to the finals as a fifth seed team that was already a problem right there in itself a fifth seed team going to the finals to face a, a top seeded team in the west to play for the finals then after that the Miami Heat two stars went down in the in the champ in the final series, Bam out of bail and Drogic. Those were two key pieces that went down for the Miami Heat. So it was basically done after that. Even now granted, even if they were healthy, the Lakers were still gonna beat them. But the fact that the fact that the Lakers still had to take them out in six games with a Jimmy Butler and et cetera and crew that just shows you how asterisk of a championship that this was. Because ain't no way that that championship series should have went six games. It should have been a sweep. But again, that's going to be more of an asterisk. But again, I do not count this championship. It was a fluky on-the-spot championship. Everything around it spells asterisk. And if you want to go back to other years where certain weird stuff happened in the NBA Finals, like the 2012 Finals, where there was a lockout, if you want to say that's an Asterix Championship, sure. If you want to say the 1990, uh, 1999 Championship Finals was an Asterix, go ahead. Because if it's not a full NBA blown season, it doesn't count. I don't care what you say. This is, this is specifically aimed at LeBron James fans and Lakers fans. That championship does not count as a real championship. That is a bubble championship. That is a Mickey Mouse championship. Nothing about that championship was real. It was in Walt Disney World. 
in Orlando. No fans, no travels, just in a basketball stadium with TV screens and a whole bunch of other uh, extra nonsense trying to act like that was normal. That was not normal. Everything about that was normal. Those guys had four to five months off during the pandemic to heal, rest up. I guarantee you, if it was during a regular season, the Los Angeles Lakers was not going to win an NBA championship. I I guarantee it. At first, I had my doubts, but then looking back at it, seeing that before the championship, LeBron James missed the playoffs, and then the second year in his stint was L.A., he, this happened, and this was his last chance to end up winning a fake easy ring. And then the next following year, he gets knocked off in the first round. And right now, as right now as we speak, he's on the verge of missing the playoffs altogether. That just add more fuel to the fire for me to make this video saying that that championship ring was an asterisk. There's no way that it counts at all. I know that for a fact now. His whole stint in L.A. was a failure. He has not won a legitimate championship or even got close to winning a championship ever since. This whole pandemic was the best thing that happened to him and Anthony Davis to win a fake Mickey Mouse championship. But after that, in a regular, in a regular season, he has never been close to title contention. And we all know that. But that's just what I think on the matter. Um, I, I went on everything. I went on my attention enough. Um, that's just what I think. Seeing how the Lakers are performing right now, seeing how they've been performing the past four years. They had that lucky season in 2020 where they had a luck up, where they needed a whole pandemic to win. But as far as I know, in a regular season, they're not built to win a championship and they're not going to win a championship. I don't know the future lies for them moving forward. Um, most likely they're going to trade Westbrook. They probably might trade AD. I don't know what's next for LeBron James. He has a couple of years left and um, with the Lakers tenure. I know he wants to play with his son and then retire. But um, as far as contending for championships with the Lakers, that's over and done with. These teams are way better now, way athletic, way younger, the faster. LeBron James can't keep up. He doesn't play no defense. He's still good offensively, but he's probably going to be the second, third best player on the championship team if he wants to contend for a title at this point in his career. But those are my thoughts and opinions on that because I, I, I need to put this out because that 2020 championship, regardless of what any fanboys say, LeBron James fan, Laker fan, Shannon Sharp, Nick Wright, Colin Cowher, whatever they say, it doesn't matter. That championship does not count. That's an asterisk. That is a bubble championship that does not count as a ring at all. It's fake. It's fugazi. It's cheap. It's zirconium. It does not count. But those are my thoughts and opinions on the matter. Let me know yours in the comment section down below. Do you agree with my take on the 2020 uh, NBA championship? Do you think it's real? Do you think it's fake? Um, do you agree or do you disagree? Let me know. Peace. Uh, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win, yeah. LABB, who we running with, yeah. 2233, I'm on 10 again.